welcome back. So it is no secret that color can change the entire look and vibe of your home, but choosing the right shade, it can be tricky, guys. Certified interior designer Leslie Abel joins us for designer tricks for choosing the perfect color palette to spice up your home for 2019. How are you? Hi, Shardell. Thanks for having me. So 2019, the fact that it's we're right already around the corner. About 2019, it's crazy. So what's trending next year? We so want to know. So the big colors are... We're staying with a lot of the simplicities and calming mm. grays. Okay. But what's different is now we're introducing some more edgy colors. Okay. So deep, really, aquamarines, hunter green, which is a big surprise. You're going to start seeing a lot of really? hunter green okay. popping up. Nice. So can we use these colors for our walls too? You can use these colors for your walls. You mm. can use them for accents around the house, throw pillows, furniture, accessories, yeah. artwork. Yeah, and I've it all in. Exactly. With what you have. And I've noticed like when you use color, it creates a certain type of energy and vibe. Don't you agree? Yes. Some colors are very calming, yeah. some colors are energizing. You know, usually you want calming colors in the bedroom, energizing you know, with, where the kids are playing and offices and, and definitely for gyms. Yeah, it makes sense when you think about it. Now, dark colors, though, I heard that it makes, you know, the rooms look smaller. Is that true? Or that's is that a what myth? That's most people believe. It's That's a very popular myth. I think ah. a dark color actually adds drama to a room. Drama. If mm. you don't have the correct lighting, you can always do an accent wall. That's still in fashion. Yeah. But usually you can make a room really dramatic with a yeah. really deep, luscious color. Okay, cool. I'm taking all the notes right now because I actually want to revamp my apartment. So let's talk about cabinets and stuff, choosing the right colors. Yes. Yes. So let me just show you first. Here's some of the, this is the Benjamin Moore color palette of the year. Voila. Voila. The number one <laughs> color is metropolitan gray right here. Okay. Which is a very calming, serene color. And then just adding some, you know, frothy pinks, navy blues, hunter greens, cocoa. All of that is gonna is what's gonna make it current. Okay. And you can use these on your wall. You can use them on your cabinetry. That's a fun makeover. Mm -hmm. Really makes a difference. There's um, different kinds of paints you can use. You can use chalk paint. Gives a more vintage look on cabinetry. You can also use what's um, advanced paint, right? Like this. It gives a little more of a sheen for kitchen cabinets. If Let's you talk wanna, about that sheen. The sheen level, well, there's different sheen levels you can do. There's a satin sheen for cabinets, there's semi-gloss, and there's high gloss. Okay. So satin is usually what we recommend because it will hide most of the imperfections. Mm. Right now, you're seeing a before and after of a maple cabinet and the same cabinet painted with just two coats of chalk paint. Oh. No primer. It's very easy, and it just makes it very modern. Okay. You can do that if you're afraid to do your kitchen cabinets. I suggest do it with an end table. Do it with a vanity in the bathroom. Start yeah. small. Start small. I like this, what you have going on here. Yeah, so what I did here was just leftover, but just be creative, people. Yeah. Leftover paint you have around the house. Just, you know, take some accessories, things things that you are putting out on the table for Thanksgiving, yeah. for the holidays, and add a little paint and make it very current and modern and fun. See, I have a question. I love color, right? Is it okay if I want to have one room a certain color and the next room a certain color, or does that look tacky? It looks great as long as they have the same undertones. Okay. That is the key. The colors need to flow together. Mm -hmm. So you could have a gray in one room, and you could have a blue gray in the next room, and that will flow together beautifully. Okay. You don't, you don't want, want it to, to be, be all over shocking. the place. It's, it's got to flow. Okay. All of these paints, there's so many different things. There's paints for ceilings. There's paints for bathrooms that hold up to mold and mildew. Mm -hmm. You can get all of these, by the way, at Columbia Paint, which oh, carries nice. Benjamin Moore. And if you do mention Leslie, you'll get 10% off. 10% off. We're all about saving these coins yes, here. Yes. Nice. And choosing the right color for your personality, how can we do that? You want to see, it's you, sometimes it's the colors that you wear. I can yeah. tell by looking at you, you are not afraid of color. No. <laughs> Something bold. So yeah. if I was going to your house and helping you do a paint consult, okay. I'd throw some bold colors in. Mm -hmm. Because that's what you're comfortable in. That's what you look good at. Exactly. You want to look good in your house. Yeah, and nothing's wrong if you're a type of person who prefers darker colors. If that's the, you know, your vibe, you can do that too. It's all about incorporating your personality because it is your home. Exactly. So where can we keep up with you? So you can find me online. You can find me, um, Leslie, LADesignsOnline.com. Go to my website. You can find me. You can find me on Facebook, LADesignsLLC. 
You can find me at the Columbia Paint Store Wednesday afternoons giving out free advice. Awesome. And I book consults there as well. Well, thank you so much. I'm already sure. ready for 2019. I know, the exciting colors. You heard exactly. it here first. You heard it here. There we go. High there five, go. queen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with our motivational minute. Stay with us.